In this problem, we have been asked to find the general solution of this. At first, it might seem a little bit tricky, but it's quite straightforward. You substitute with dy over dx to equal m. You can make up anything, p, g, d, use Greek, it doesn't really matter, just substitute with anything. So we know that we've th that can turn into m, but then this is just simply m squared. So we should get m squared plus 3m plus 2 equal to naught. So now we've got a very simple quadratic equation that we can solve. And it's going to be m plus 2 and m plus 1. Now we know that m equals minus 2 or minus 1. Um, and from here, you then should remember there are um, a load of uh, general solutions, and things that in which you should be able to look at and identify. And in this problem, we can see that we have two... Um, two um, values which aren't the same. So obviously it, uh, the solution to this could have been just 3 or 2, but it's minus 2 or minus 1. So for that reason, we use AE, um, we could call this M1, plus BE, M2. So when, where this is M1, and this is M2. So we plug them in. So we get a, e, minus 2, sorry, a, e, m, 1, x, plus b, e, m, 2, x. So it's a equals minus 2, x, plus b, e, minus x. As you can see, this is now the general solution to this problem. Quite straightforward, substitution, um, and solving a quadratic equation. This is something that you should know, you have to remember it. So if you ever get into this form, straight away, this equation, this um, this uh, formula should be sticking in your head. You should remember this, and then you just plug in the values, and there we go, that's your general solution.